YouTube, Johnny Klishnikov here. Got another book review. This one's called The Diving Bell and The Butterfly. Now I say that there's two things that'll affect your life more than anything else. Um, who you hang with and what books you read. Uh, this guy right here, it was written by John Dominique Bobby, and I was introduced uh, to this book by the professor who's teaching the neurobiology class that I just took. Um, awesome book. Um, this guy, he suffered what's called a massive stroke. Basically, there's an area, you got a lower brain and you got an upper brain, and you have a middle brain that connects to both of them. This dude, a 43-year-old healthy Frenchman, he had a massive stroke it, where the middle brain cut off communication between the lower brain and the, the lower brain and the upper brain. So he was paralyzed. He couldn't move his arms. He went from completely healthy to couldn't move his arms or legs. He couldn't close his mouth. He couldn't swallow. He couldn't feed himself. He had to have the stomach tube. He only had control over one thing, which was his left eyelid. And he managed to write this entire book just by blinking his left eye. He had an assistant who helped him. He would point to each letter in the French alphabet and when he hit the correct letter, the guy would blink. So if you want to talk about a story of overcoming insane, um, absolutely insane circumstances, this is a book. If you ever wondered what happens to a person when they go into a coma or a vegetative state, um, the condition this guy called, uh, had was called locked-in syndrome, where he was completely, in his mind, he was completely sane, he was completely normal, he had his thoughts going, but he couldn't control his body. So the diving bell in the title deals with uh, the old time scuba where they had the, instead of the scuba tanks, they had this huge bell that had a, it was connected to an air hose. But also he was a butterfly. Even though he was locked in, he was able to express his thoughts. He was able to express himself. So if you ever wondered what it was like to deal with a condition like this, great book. Um, interesting side note, my father-in-law had a similar condition. He had like nine heart attacks. This dude is insane. He was like a cat. He just wouldn't die. Eventually he died, but anyways, uh, his ninth heart attack, he was out. No oxygen for at least somewhere between five to ten minutes. And it affected his brain. And he was there. The doctor said that he was brain dead, but he really wasn't because we were, me and my wife were able to communicate with him through lip reading and he was there, he just couldn't communicate like I can communicate with you. So this gave me an interesting view into what his life must have been like. Um, good book, definitely recommend checking out. There's also a movie if you don't feel like reading the book. Peace.